I'm in control Gotta stay free to choose Choose what I'll be I'm free to choose after Michelle and her family get baptized on Saturday. Hey, I've got a good idea. Let's have a surprise party. We could kidnap Michelle Give and... us a break, Jill. No way. That's dumb. Anyone else have an idea? Well, I think it'd be fun. <laughs> it'd be fun if we could do something really neat. What's this? It's the plug to the rat! <laughs> Michelle, you can't be serious. What do you mean you're not going to be baptized? I just can't be baptized. But why not? I thought your whole family was going to be baptized. Everybody else is. But I'm not. I don't understand. How come? I just don't know if it's true. What do you mean? I just don't know, okay? I believe it's true, but I'm just not sure. Oh, I don't know, Lisa. Everything I've been learning seems so right. So when the missionaries challenged us to be baptized, I thought, sure. Then it hit me. How can I commit my whole life to something when I don't really know it's true? It's been really hard. The rest of my family can hardly wait until Saturday. Mom and Dad have been really good about it, but I know they wish I was getting baptized. But you've been reading the Book of Mormon, haven't you? And what about that time you were lost up at the cabin? Remember how the Lord answered your prayers? It's not that. I believe in God. It's just that I'm not sure this is the only true church. Can you tell me you really know? Of course I know. your testimony of the gospel? I mean, when you really knew for sure the church was true. Why do you ask? I was just wondering. Well, let me see. I guess I must have been about your age. And strangely enough, it had a lot to do with Uncle George. Uncle George? George was in high school when he stopped going to church. Said he didn't believe in it anymore. I remember one afternoon we were out hauling hay. He'd been arguing with me all day about the church. Finally, he looked right at me and said, nobody knows for sure the things you say you know. I didn't know how to answer him. As I thought about it, I wasn't really sure if I did know. I believed my whole life, but I never needed to know until then. I know what you mean. Oh? Yeah. A few days ago, Michelle asked me if I was sure the gospel was true. Dad, I'm not so sure I do. 
I felt the same way during all the time George was being so rough on me. So what did you do? Well, for a long time, nothing really happened. I prayed about it. I kept going to church, tried to read the scriptures more. It went on for several months, and I was really getting discouraged. Then one day, in fast and testimony meeting, I had a strong impression to bear my testimony. I tried to ignore the feeling, but it wouldn't go away. So I stood up, and as I began my testimony, I knew that what I was saying was true. Maybe I already had a testimony and just didn't know it. You could be like that. Well, maybe. Testimony comes by revelation, Lisa. Concentrate on those things that will bring you closer to the Spirit. I know the gospel's true. And if you really want it, I'm sure you'll get a testimony of your own. It's not a matter of if you'll know, but a matter of when. Michelle. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hey, there's Alan Evans. I'm gonna go say hi. Lisa, can I talk to you? Yeah, I guess. How come you've been avoiding me? Are you mad at me or what? No, I'm not mad. Well, then what's wrong? Probably said a word to me for two weeks. I've been really busy. Because I wasn't baptized with the rest of my family, isn't it? Well, I can understand why... No, I'm... honest, Michelle. That's not it. And I'm not mad. Well, then what's wrong? Remember when you asked me if I knew the church was true? That really made me think. I believe it's true. I always have. But I really can't say I know. And I just haven't known what to say to you. And every time I saw you, it just reminded me. And it hurt. Michelle, I really want to know. It doesn't seem to matter how I try. These thoughts just keep returning to my mind Will he really answer? Saturday afternoon? I don't think so. Why? Well, I was just wondering. If you don't have anything to do, maybe you'd like to come to my baptism? You're getting baptized? Yeah, I am. What's wrong? You don't seem very excited. No, I think that's really neat. I guess I just don't quite understand. What made you change your mind? Well, I was talking to my parents. And they asked me if I'd really prayed about the Book of Mormon. You know, like it says in the last chapter of Moroni. Well, I really hadn't. I'd read the Book of Mormon, but I hadn't prayed about it. So I did. I had this feeling. Almost like it came from the inside out. I knew it was true. But I still had some questions about the church. 
I knelt down a few days later and told the Lord that there were still some things I wasn't sure about. As I knelt there thinking, it was almost like someone said to me, Michelle, you know enough. It's true, I do know enough. I still have some questions, but I know that getting baptized is the right thing to do. My parents asked me if I'd really prayed about the Book of Mormon. You know, like it says in the last chapter of Moroni. Well, I'd read the Book of Mormon, but I hadn't prayed about it, so I did. It was almost like someone said to me, Michelle, you know enough. Too. I am. I got my answer.